Hello everyone, this is LaVoy Fincom, One Cowboy Stand for Freedom. And I promised that I'd make more videos when things progress between me and the federal government, uh, the BLM in particular, and they have. And before I get into the particulars, I want to say a few things. It's kind of easy for people to see what I'm standing against, but maybe not quite so easy to see what I'm standing for. What I'm standing for is I'm standing for freedom. I'm standing for the liberty for the individual American. I want my children to grow up in a free country. We've lost our freedoms. We've lost our Constitution. The federal government is enmeshed and entwined in almost every aspect of our life. You can see that in, in Obamacare and, and thousands of other things. And so when the federal government begins to, to refuse to be confined by the laws of the land, by the supreme law of the land, our constitution. It's up to, to you know, our politicians and the courts to check it, but they haven't. They're actually part of the problem. They've, they've continued to grow the power and drop power into the, a central government. And when a central government begins to, to overreach its bounds, then the states, the individual states, are supposed to stand up and check the federal government. And they haven't. And so what happens when these balances of power, these checks in our government, are no longer working? The last remedy for freedom rests in the individual Americans. The individual American has to stand up for liberty. They need to understand the Constitution. They need to understand what liberty is, what freedom is. And so here we go. Goes. America, stand. The night is far spent. The Constitution has been shredded, but it lives in your heart. You know what freedom is and what freedom isn't. Stand, because when you stand, others will stand with you. And God can't stand with you if you don't stand. Once you stand, you can expect the hand of providence to be over you. No matter how it ends, it matters how you stand. This is LaVoy Finnecombe, One Cowboy Stand for Freedom. See you later. Hello everyone, this is LaVoy Finnecombe with One Cowboy Stand for Freedom. It's uh, September 2014, I'm out here on my, my ranch. Uh, it's great out here, the, the rains have come this summer. The grass is tall, it's still green. My cows are fat, my water tanks are full. Uh, just feeling really grateful for all the, the blessings that I'm enjoying right now. Love being out here. Don't have a cell phone, um, it's peaceful. Yeah, you know, I feel like when I'm out here that all's well, all's right, nothing's wrong, no worries. And, and I love this life out here. Um, but it doesn't take too much to see that dark storm clouds are gathering and we really need to uh, open our eyes if they're not already open. Uh, we need to uh, take care of those we love. We need to have our houses in order. We need to have our relationships in order. We never know how many days we have upon this on God's green earth here. And we need to make the best of each and every one of them. But about those storm clouds that are gathering, it's easy to see that our government has eviscerated the Constitution. They are a lawless government, um, unwilling to be governed by the supreme law of the land, by the laws that we, the people, placed upon them. And so what do we do? Um, this thing isn't going to be solved legislatively. It's too far gone. There's too few politicians with real conviction, with real courage. The establishment is too firmly entrenched. We're not going to turn this thing around legislatively. The judiciary is in large major corrupt too, in so far as they are unwilling to to legisl or uh, adjudicate on the simple constitution. And you look at the executive branch, it is just amassing power unto itself. 
governing by dictate, by fiat, and by executive order, completely outside of the powers that we the people gave them. So what do we do? And as I pondered on this, I wondered, where is the, the right and the wrong? Where is that line where it's wrong and where it's right in resisting this? And I come across some words by um, a man that I respect a lot by the name of Ezra Taft Benson. And he asked that question. He said, is it morally right to resist tyranny? And then he answers his own question by saying, I believe, or he said, with all the fervor of my soul, I believe that God intended man to be free. And then he went on to say that rebellion against tyranny is a righteous cause. Um, so there you have it. That's exactly how I feel. It's good to read and hear other people that feel the same way. And he went on to say, say that the fight for freedom is God's fight. So when a man stands for freedom, he stands with God. And as long as he stands for freedom, he stands with God. And even if he stands alone, he still stands with God. A man will be eternally vindicated and rewarded for his stand for freedom. So, the way I do the math, I think there's about 50 million Americans out there that love freedom as much as I do. They're willing to put their lives on the line, their fortunes, their sacred honor, as our founding fathers did in the beginning. Because the uh, conflict that's building, the storm clouds that are gathering, are over this very same issue. Will man be free or must he be coerced? And me, for one, I'm going to live my remaining days as a free man. Maybe long, maybe short. But I'm going to live as a free man. And so, what about you? My appeal is to you, the 50 million, those of you that are making the good fight, that are, are uh, standing for freedom. And I believe we still should fight through the legislative avenue, through the, uh, um, the judiciary avenue, through the legal avenue. Um, I think we should, still should make those efforts wherever we can. But we know when our natural rights are being violated when we are being trampled upon. And it's time for us to say, no, no more. Now, if your rights are being trampled on, if your property rights are being violated, I'll come and stand with you. You can reach me on Facebook, Lavoy Finicum, or at uh, my email, LavoyFinicum at yahoo.com. Um, I'll come, I'll stand, you know, there's 50 million of us, I know. There's 50 million that's willing to stand and pull together and say, no, leave him alone. Leave his property alone. You know, no aggression, no hate, but willing to stand, willing to defend. And by all means necessary to say, leave us alone. Don't bother us. Let us raise our families. Let us enjoy this land upon which we live. Let us be free to make our own choices. It's a great land. It's a great country. I'm going to live as a free man. Um, I invite you to stand up, defend the Constitution, the rights that are, that are guarded by this document. Stand. Stand for freedom. Stand for the Constitution. Have a good day, everyone. This is Lavoy Finicum. One cowboy stand for freedom. See you later. Who is the legal and who's the illegal? Um, that is just because we function within this, this bureaucracy does not make it a legal entity. And you need to be clear on that line. You know, it's time to put this dragon back into the box that was created for it in the beginning. Because it's out of its box and it's rampaging. It knows no bounds. And um, again, there's good people in it. But it's illegal. It's illegitimate. And this is Lavoy Finicum again for One Cowboy Stand for Freedom. Thanks.
and to have great respect for, called George Washington. He crossed the Delaware with his soldiers, and he, he took on the Hessians, the British Hessians, and do you know he lost not one soldier to the armed conflict. There was 150 that were, were wounded that he did lose to, two that died before they even got there. Two men froze to death before they arrived there and the bloody foot tracks could be traced in the snow. Now, why is my life more valuable than their life? They gave their all, didn't even get the chance to fire their musket. They died frozen. I'm sure they had loved ones, mothers, fathers, probably children, that their dreams were cut off, but they gave their all for this freedom. Why do we uh, reap the fruits and the rewards of their sacrifices and then when it comes down to this time that we don't stand up will you be able to hold your head up will I be able to hold my head up when we meet together um, if I don't stand I can't they gave everything and so many people have given everything it's time to stand I, I want somebody anybody that hears this please pull your courage to the sticking point strengthen your resolve stiffen your back let's stand it may cost you your life that's okay I just like I said to that cowboy we all die you know die for something good let your children your posterity know where you stood where you stand don't disappoint or dis your ancestors um, this you've, is the day of the time you've written a book Let's take a couple of minutes. Well, actually, a couple of seconds. We got about thirty seconds here. But uh, tell me about the book you've written. Uh, it's, we may have to do a follow-up show actually okay, to follow okay. to to talk about it, this. It's called "Only by Blood and Suffering: Restoring Lost Freedoms." And the left is so good about putting an emotional slant on the left. This is an emotional novel about defending freedom on the right.